So Suniti Didi asked me if I am ready to read some verse. So I choose verse number 144 from Radharasa Sudanidi by Srila Prabhupada Ananda Saraswati with the nectar commentaries of Srila Ananda Das Babaji. Jai Ho! So we read verse number 144. By daily singing, only the holy name of Sri Radha, millions of the best spiritual practices become rejectable. By worshipping the nectar of Sri Radha's lotus feet, millions of the best human goals of life are abandoned because there are millions of great wish-yielding trees in the playground of Sri Radha's lotus feet, namely Sri Vindavan. And millions of perfections roll at the feet of Sri Radha's maidservants, uncared for. So again, it's uh, actually not so easy to get. Point by point, it's better. By daily singing only the holy name of Sri Radha, millions of the best spiritual practices become rejectable. By worshipping the nectar of Sri Radha's lotus feet, millions of the best human goals of life are abandoned because there are millions of great wish-yielding trees in the playground of Sri Radha's lotus feet, Sri Vrindavan. And millions of perfections roll at the feet of Sri Radha's maidservants, uncared for. So this is the verse Radharasa Sudhanidhi 144. And Srilananda Das Babaji is giving the headline, The Power of Radha's Nectarian Worship. The power of love, uh, the power of Radha's nectarian worship. Commentary. Sripad still is in his Sadak Avesh. He shows here how fixed he is in his devotion to Sri Radha. He says, Simply by daily chanting the name of Radha, millions of great spiritual practices become rejectable. So to say, of no use anymore. Sankirtan is the emperor of all sadhana and gives prema to everyone who surrenders to it without discriminating. This item of devotion should never be given up, for it purifies the mind and heart and thus helps. It helps one to enter into smarana.
these millions of spiritual practices that become rejectable do not include the vital items of devotional practice like hearing, chanting, remembering, worshipping the deity, etc. The text does not say Bhajanadisha Kutistvaja that all devotional practices become rejectable, but Sadhana Disha Kutistvaja Chaja Practices like deliberate austerities cultivation of book knowledge, following ordinary religious principles, and so on, become rejectable. Sripad Sanatan Goswami writes in his opening of Brihad Bhagavad Amrita, Jayati Jayati Namananda Rupam Murare Viramitta Nicha Dharma Jnana Pujati Yatnam All glories to the ecstatic holy name of Murari, Krishna, that stops all endeavors like Dharma, Puja and Yoga meditation. Sanatan Goswami writes in his own commentary, Nicha Dharma, Vana Sharama, Acharas, and so on. The results of the miserable process of following the rules and regulations of the caste and ashram system The difficulty of fixing one's mind during efforts to meditate or to listen attentively to a lecturer or the miserable process of collecting pure paraphernalia for puja, formal worship, will easily be awarded simply by taking shelter of the Holy Name. Although love for Krishna is the fifth goal of human life, transcending religiosity, economic development, sense gratification, and liberation, still, the service of Sri Radha is much more attractive and relishable and causes Radha's devotees to give up even the devotional service of Krishna which leads to love for Krishna. This is the meaning of the words Niraja Radha Padakamala Sudang Sat Purmata Krakotihi. Millions of the greatest Sat means that which is eternal and transcendental, like liberation or devotion to God. So even millions of the greatest goals of human life worship the nectar of Radha's lotus feet. 
So I think it's time to stop here for a while and hear what inspirations come to you when you hear that wonderful explanation of Anandadas Babaji and read the verse. Please share. I want to learn from you. I want to have the feelings of you all. Okay, since you have some inspiration to interrupt me, I will say something. It's beginning by daily singing the holy name of Sri Radha. Millions of the best spiritual practices become rejectable. So what does it mean actually? If you are on the way of, to reach some spot, then maybe you have to cross a river. And then maybe you need something like a boat or similar. But if you come to the other shore, it will not be useful anymore, except you have to cross another river. Then you have to take it with you. It's just a simple example. But if you are on the other side, maybe it's better to walk. So sometimes it's good to use something for some time to come to some place, to some point. But then there may be even a better way to go further. So it's not bad to, to chant Krishna's names or Vishnu's names or even Shiva's names. It's not bad, it's good, but it depends from where you come and where you want to go to. So we can see that Srila Prabhupada Nanda Saraswati, he is on a very high platform. He only wants Radharani's service. And he only hankering for the direct service of Sri Radha's lotus feet and the direct service in the enjoyment of the Yugala. So to serve the exchange of the highest and purest love possible. This is the only thing he wants, actually. There is no other goal for him. So if he is going for that, then for him, it's very logical to reject all other items of menial devotional service because he understood already that if you want to please the blue adolescent boy of Brindavan who is playing the flute and who is just interested in the sweet love in the loving exchange so if you want to please him, it's the best to do it through Radha. Because Radharani is the one who serves him the best, who is actually fulfilling all his desires. He even did not know that he has. So that's why it's very logical that Srila Prabodhananda is saying here, 
by daily singing only the holy name of Sri Radha. Millions of the best spiritual practices become rejectable because he has no other goal than Sri Radha's lotus feet and her service. So in the next sentence, he is saying, by worshipping the nectar of Sri Radha's lotus feet, millions of the best human goals of life are abandoned because there are millions of great wish-yielding trees in the playground of Sri Radha's lotus feet. Sri Vrindavan. So what's the use that my sadhaka has so many wishes, human goals of life, if I am not interested to be in the sadhaka? I have no wish to be here, to stay here in this world of duality. So what's the use? When I worship the nectar of Sri Radha's lotus feet, which is oozing from the lotus feet, it's the nectar oozing from Radha's lotus feet, constantly nectar is oozing, it's coming out. They are shining. So this nectar which is coming out is fulfilling already all wishes, all desires, even Krishna's desires. So we can imagine if even God himself, who don't want to be God, but just an adolescent boy who is in love, with Radha, because he knows that Radha is giving him not only everything he wants, she is giving even more. So if even he is not interested in anything, because he knows he will get everything by Radha's lotus feet, what to speak of us, and what to speak of a material body and the wishes of this spiritual existence here. It's useless. But even if you would argue, but um, if I still have some wishes, what's the problem? Wish yielding trees are everywhere in Vrindavan. But usually they are just used to get some fruits, some flowers, something to make maybe a bed for the yugala, or make some nice preparations, make some juice, bring something in the kunja. They are not used for other things. And that shows that in this realm everybody is so satisfied by just worshipping. So what's the use of the best human goals of life? That's why they are abandoned. And it is also said that millions of perfections roll at the feet of Sri Radha's maidservants, uncared for. So if you serve Radharani, all the other perfections which exist want to serve you. They want to give you some offerings, please take me. 
But Radharani's maidservants are only interested in serving Radharani and serving through her, her beloved. So that's why no one cares there for these millions of perfections, like to be the lightest of the lightest, go over water, <coughs> manifest things or unmanifest things, or all these things, perfections, mystical perfections and all other things. Millions of them, you cannot count. What is the use? So in this way, this verse is describing just a little bit of the power of Radha's nectarian worship. Just a bit. It's just one verse. It's just giving a little impression. And it wants us to give a hint. Maybe you should dive in that theme. Maybe you should meditate on that theme. Maybe you let yourself just fall in in that. And look what your feelings are doing with it. Hopefully, the spiritual feelings will wake up more and more. And actually, it will be like that. It's a promise. And then your spiritual feelings are growing and the material feelings are going. The more the spiritual feelings grow, the more the material will just go. It's a process. It's not made from today till tomorrow. So no use to try to be better than I am. Like I'm trying and I'm trying to be better like I am. What's the use? Just go deep in the meditation and this meditation will bring you slowly, slowly, to perfection, because it's the mercy of Radha given by a pure manjari to us, handed to us through the parampara. So all glories to the ecstatic holy name of Murari, of Krishna. Which is actually also giving love for Krishna. But what is giving more or faster love to Krishna? If you are going to a person who loves Krishna the most, who knows everything about him, who can read his mind very easily, his heart very easily, who knows everything about him, isn't it very easy to come in this vibration of love for Krishna? And then maybe this vibration will also enter in my heart and then change my heart. We say learning by doing. Yes, Radharani is doing this all the time. She cannot do anything else. Radharani's life, her existence is to love Krishna. To, learn, to love this wonderful Mohan. 
to serve him in a way that he <coughs> is completely stunned. So it's very logical in one way that the fastest way to come into this feeling of love for Krishna is to have association with Radha, serve her. Because we know even from Sadakavesh it is said that if you want to have something which others have, more, maybe they have more bhakti like you and you think like that, how to get this and how to get rid of enmity maybe, which could also arise. So the way actually is, which is given for that is to serve that person. And by serving that person, you will also get these qualities and get rid of enmity. And this is needed if we want to go to Radharani, no question that we are envy, because then we are not in Mandri Bhav. Radhe Radhe Gauravani? Yes. You so hear me? Hey Radhe. Radhe Radhe. Nice to hear you. But I can nice to you. hear you. Uh, yeah, we are here in the round and sitting all together listening. And you know, the reason why maybe we are quiet is we first, when somebody chooses a verse, I always like to hear what is their feelings about it and why they like it so much. Now I understand that you like it because it gives us this firm faith of this love to Radharani in our life that nothing else is missing. And I was just thinking why Ananta Das Babaji is giving these examples that these uh, rules and regulations are sometimes miserable, a miserable process to follow also the caste and the ashram system. Maybe us in the West, we were not so much, um, you know, confronted with this system but in india it has been a real problem people were f feeling like in the prison of caste system and they were feeling like like imprisoned by certain religious uh doctrines and family uh, pressures and that is not so far away and maybe it's uh, also still existing nowadays so Lord Chaitanya, who came to help this, who is two times Radhika with one time Krishna, <laughs> good he said this morning, <laughs> like full power of love with also God inside. <laughs> he came to stop all of this for the sake of, you know, being a devotee of, of love, of Shrimati Radhika and showing us the way. So I think this verse is very nicely giving all of us, you know, from which countries we are coming, from which backgrounds we are coming, from what kind of, you know, past identities we have in our hearts, monks or nuns, or we come from many lifetimes of, you know, different, different religious systems. He wants to take this all away from us, this fear of doing something wrong in the name of God. 
This happens to many of us. And it also is a feeling that sometimes is blocking even now my consciousness, maybe even unconscious fear of doing something wrong in my spiritual path or fear of being rejected or fear of anything that anyone would feel that is Baba's, uh, I think it's Baba's desire here, what I feel. And that even when we start loving Radha now, that Krishna is not neglected because of this. God is not neglected if you become a Dasi, you know, a servant of divine love of Krishna's Shrimati Radhika, who is the best of all devotees. So this is how I feel. This is an encouragement, this verse. It's the glories of Shrimati Radhika's power of love that is also giving me protection and me what I need to go on and to progress fearlessly. And I can give up everything that is not fitting, that is not helping anymore. I can fearlessly go in the shelter of divine love and trust that I am in the right, you know, way with the right persons, with the right teachers in the blessings of Rindavan. And so this is about the firm faith in Radharani's glories and in Radharani's shelter. So wonderful. That's my feeling, what I had by listening this wonderful glorification of Radha's name and how the Sanketan and the power of taking shelter of only love is our whole life and is very, very, uh, how you say, re a big li relief from many different past lives, many struggles to overcome, you know, religious uh, shackles, let's say like that. Thank you very much for sharing your feelings with us. It's endless pressures that we are sharing our feelings on this theme because we all have so much different aspects and we can learn from each other so much. I appreciate it so much. I love it. So please go on. So can I a little bit add? Please, please, yes. So thank you very much, Sriti Nidhi. So my feeling like this. <clears throat> So usually we say Pancham Purisharta. Actually, Veda, most of Veda describes four, four Purisharta. Yeah, goal of life is Dharma, religiosity, Arta, economic development, and Karma, fulfill our desire, sense of gratification. And fourth is moksha, liberation. This is maybe liberation is in between. First three is like a material. Then we say Pancham Purisharta, uh, Krishna Prema. So Krishna Prema, sometimes we don't know what is Krishna Prema. Maybe we can say the service of Krishna. Seva or for Krishna. So, generally speaking, we are learned this Krishna Prema, service of Krishna is the highest. But this Baba, you know, this Ananta Baba say, no, actually, 
ビヨンドクリシナプレマアナザーステージゼア This is セラダープレマ means サービスフォーラダーラーニ It describes we think God is great true God is great because we are part and parcel of God and everything emanates from God <laughs> so God is great but Some person loves God, but some, some person does not appreciate God. Even animal, they don't appreciate God. But love, especially divine love, everybody likes love, especially divine love. Nobody s a y I don't like love. Guru Dev is saying, even animal feel someone who has love. Animal likes love. Yes. Yeah, and pl- even plants also. So the,、uh, a, few, a few days ago, was it, maybe 10, day, 10 days ago, I don't know more, we have a Gopastami. We are worshiping cow. Then Guru Dev is explaining why are we worshiping cow. Then Guru Dev is saying, animal feel love. So, and especially cow, Krishna loves cow. And cow feels love especially. And、uh, this love, love is greater than God. So Guru Dev said, love is a way. Love is a goal. Before Guru Dev said, God, you know, Krishna, you know, love is a way. God is Like Supreme Lord, like Krishna. But now changed. Love is a way. Love is a goal. Because this six Purisharta, Ananda Svaba s a y this love for Radha or service for Radha. And this one, who is love Radha Rani? Who is connected to Radharani most? This is Kinkari and Manjari. Actually, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu want to, want to give us is not only Krishna Prema. This is Manjari Baba, Radha's. Seba, love for Radha. So, this is indirectly Baba say Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's glory. Because previous age, nobody tells this six p u r i s h a r t a Glory of Radha Rani. Divine love. So this is very interesting. And then also this interesting. This bus say, we are rejecting all process, all religious process. What he say, spiritual process. What kind of process to get to liberation, to get to Krishna Prema, even Krishna Prema. We may reject. Oh my God. But the Baba said, but we don't, this interesting Baba said, 
Techist does not say that all devotion practice become rejectable. No, no, sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, so, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, sorry. The medium spiritual pr practice that become rejectable do not include the vital item of devotion practice, like hearing, chanting, remembering, worshiping the deed. This hearing, chanting, and remembering, worshiping deity, this is both process by the bhakti, also raga bhakti, raga nuga bhakti. So, to worship Radha, or to, to say hearing of Radha, chanting of Radha, remembering Radha's pastime, remembering Radha's worship, this we cannot reject. So, because they say Radha's name is glory, in Bhakti Sandarva, I forgot the bus. It is say, if we glorify somebody, Ishta Dev, we can get the same quality of that, Ishta Dev. If we criticize somebody, then we can get all bad quality of uh, someone who, you know, someone who criticizes. So, if we glorify Radha, or if we chant Radha's name, according to this Bhakti Sandarbha, slowly, slowly, we may get all quality of Shirimate Radha Rani. Or maid servant of Radha Rani. So therefore, this Baba say, no, this Shripada say, the daily singing only the holy name Shri Radha. This is the best process. Shri Pada said. In that he said, okay, we can rejectable. We, we can reject. We don't care any process. We care the seva of Radha Rani. We don't care as a seva. Of course, we care rather as Mohan's Kiseba. But as a Ishtadeva, we don't care Narayan. We don't care Nurisin Hadev. We don't care, we don't care any other deity. This is described Ishta Nishta, completely depend on Ishta, completely one point of Ishtadeva. And then Baba describes, actually, I'm also, I have Swarupa Nishta. Because without Swarupa, we cannot worship Radhika. So I feel this verse describes Ishta Nishta, strong Ishta Nishta, and also strong Swarupa Nishta. I feel that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Tananda Maharaj. Very wonderful. Radhe, Radhe. I want to also share some of my feelings. Um, Radha Charan Prabhu, please. We want to hear you. Thanks. <laughs> I remember you, Goro Vajiji. <laughs> Um, it's written from begin uh, by every day singing the holy name of Sri Radha. Uh, in the commentaries, uh, Anandas Babaji Maharaj explained about Sankirtana. Mm -hmm. Sankirtana can be translated or understanding by different way. It means congreg congregational singing then many devotees together it's have power mm. and the 
together singing. For example, when they did it here on moon eclipse or solar eclipse, we can mm. feel it. Or Shunaranga Samaraj explained one more meaning, what does it mean together? He told, together this Rasika Vaishnava. Oh. Then Rasika Vaishnava glorifying singing the names of his Ishtadevatas or Ishtadevata. I mean Radha Mohan. Radha is Ishtadevata, but Radha is not alone. <laughs> she is Mohan. But I remember how on 90 years festival Gurudev singing here, Radha Mohan, it was something amazing. It's touching heart so much. Then Rasika Vaishnavas singing the names of someone who is so dear to him, his, his heart, everything, is giving strong impression the heart of who is listening. And how the thoughts and feelings moving inside of consciousness, according to the samskaras, according to the impressions, means if such strong impression come into the heart, this lucky person will start also sing same song, same names. And so this means what I understood, what does mean some Kirtana? Even even person one in his room, but he is with this Rasika Vaishnava, glorifying Ishtadevi, Shimati Radika, it will be some Kirtana, it will be very powerful. And other meaning of some Kirtana means Samyak. Samyak means completely. Means with all feelings in this moment, other words not exist. All feelings completely absorbed in the name. Because, as it, for example, if someone just begins his sadhana, he is not strong, he found uh, so many obstacles, internal, external obstacles, and he is feeling hopeless, not hopeless, uh, how to say, but he couldn't himself overcome his obstacles. He's trying, trying, but mind not allow, for example. And what he can do, he's just crying. Rade, he's crying. And completely absorbing this. And how we read in this very wonderful book, and that's Babaji Maharaj is written. And just, by, just by singing Radhanam, we can receive all ingredients for Manjari Sadhana. All Manjari Sadhana coming from, from this. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's what came to my heart when I heard it. Oh, yeah. About Sankirtan. <clears throat> wow, this is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful, huh? No? Oh, it's it's wonderful. I'm I'm really touched by these words. It's really coming from the heart. I love it very Beautiful. much. Beautiful sharing. And I, I also like to share a little with you all because the topic is beautiful. Please. And, please. Uh, we are together as um, in the association of Manjaris, actually. And um, we speak about the beauty of this service and what is this speciality in the service of a manjari why this is so special because we actually serving also krishna we not neglect him but not directly we are indirectly serving him by the one who served him perfectly. We take shelter on her to serve her, to serve both, actually. And uh, that makes our service also perfect. That's the beauty of Manjari service. Mm. They not go directly serve Krishna. We take shelter of her, of our Swamini. She who make him 100% happy. And we are so lucky 
to take part of this. And she is giving service to us, to all of us. And today we also share something with Gurudev. Why there is a need of also new manjaris like we are. <coughs> Because this, what happened there on the abode of the Yuga Lakishore is an ever expanding loving affair, every day fresh. And so there is no limit in the feelings, in the sharing, in the service. There is al always need the service. And so we are so lucky to get trained in this possibility to serve our Yuga Lakishore, who are every day fresh. So this, this young love is so beautiful and we take part as the servants of her to make this perfect because many things she cannot do by her own. She need some tools and we are her tools used. And this is our beauty as a manjari. She will use us in all different specialities to arrange meeting, to arrange the place of the meeting, to get information. Many manjaris are in the service of getting information. Messengers. They are very tricky in this way. And many things are hiding. Nobody knows about this. So uh, we are uh, special forces like this, very special. Nobody knows what actually we are, in which service we are on the road, watching the scene, what happened there to inform our Swamini, to create situations also, to prepare something in nighttime. So this is the beauty of the Manjaris. We can speak days and days of this, and we can enter in this service mood. We do everything for this. We don't care about the circumstance in this world even. Here it can happen whatever it likes. But for us, our one-pointedness is our service. We have to check out even if there are some whatever it likes in this world, whatever happened here, it happened always. But our focus is our service. We have to fix our mind every day, every minute, every second. What is Swamini needed now? What is her desire? And this is, we got trained by our Gurudev. He is the most merciful Manjari of all. He is training us. He is our, she is our coach. So this is the beauty here in Vrindavan. We can sit together in the same mood to grow this feeling of a servant of our Radhika. And that we become one-pointed and fixed in this service. That has to be more than our daily food to get money for every day. This is our, whatever you imagine in this life as the most topic, whatever you can see, there is one more, one point more, and this is the service. This is the service, no? whatever you like to reach in, in the material life, something has to be on the top there. Job, whatever, even <coughs> family. I will, we, we do not neglect the family life, but the more important is our service to Swami as Manjari. No? So this is always the topmost for us. 
So this is the beauty in Vrindavan here. We are so happy and we happy to share it with all our friends in many countries. So this gives a special energy to be in this society. This is very, 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 what to say? Auspicious. Radhe, Radhe, better late than never. I joined just soon. May I share something which I read this morning? Yes. Um, I found this very, very beautiful. It is in the Radha Rasa Sutta Nidhi verse 18, the one so Radhika embodies the seven oceans. Baba is so beautifully writing. It fits perfectly to what you all just said. The devotee who is fixed in Smaran attains direct association with his chosen deity within his mind. Wow. Just as the devotees have discussions with each other in this world, so the girlfriends and maidservants of Swamini have them in the spiritual world. Now comes a very interesting point. Beautiful, beautiful. Upa. Upa means close by. And wow. Upasan means sitting close by. This is very wow. interesting definition. So the practicing devotee can stay close by them, the manjaris and the sakis, in his siddha deha by constantly practicing smaran. This is beautiful sasanga bhajan devotion with spiritual attachment. So I like this Baba's definition of Upasana, that Beautiful. sitting close by means that whenever we read these verses and we, when we hear these beautiful leelas, it is our job, like you said, it is our topmost job to try to imagine that we sit next to, next to the whole scenery and try to observe it. And, and and meditate upon it. It is not always easy, but this is our topmost job. And Baba is saying this means upasana, to wow. sit close by. It also I find wow. it is also quite humorous. Baba has a very deep humor. To sit close by means to assist Guru Manjari so closely. So this is for me a very beautiful defini definition of upasana. Jayo. Thank you, Tarun Baba. So nice. Yes. And we can say that we are not only close by, we are directly here under the lotus feet of Swamini. So because the altar is just upon us and uh, we're sitting here together under her lotus feet. And this is our good luck to share here and sit here and be very close. Thank you, Tarun. Beautiful. Wonderful, Radhe. all your sharings. Radhe, Radhe, if I can say something. Oh, yes. My missing very... heart. Here comes our yeah. jewel. No. no, thank you. You are so kind. Because you were talking so nicely, I was immersed in your kata. And I'm also trying to be immersed in the words and the commentary of Baba. And uh, it's so obvious here how someone who is focused in Radhika, who is focused in his Manjari Swarup, cannot live without singing the name every day. And mm. if devotee loves someone, then he, needs, he cannot survive without singing every day only the name of beloved Ishtadev, in this case, Shimate Radharani. So this is the first sign of devotion which is strongly established in the heart of devotee. And Baba is giving, in the beginning of the commentary, Jayanandaji started a little bit to speak about that, but Baba is giving very nice commentary that Sankirtana is the emperor of all sadhana. For whom? 
for <laughs> sadaka, like now Tarun Baba said, who feel closeness with his beloved is Ishtadev. This is emperor of all sadhana. And when devotee is singing loudly or inside of his mind, better to say inside of his heart, he is practicing the most intimate item of devotional service, chanting the holy name, in this case, in, of Radhika. Because he understands that the holy name is not different from Radhika. Mm -hmm. When I chant Radha's name, O oh, Radhe, 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 it means that I'm calling her in Sadakavesh. I'm calling her in my Sadakavesh. But in my Svarupesh, like you said, I am there. And this holy name, Radhe, or Radha, this beautiful two syllables, are not different from Radharani. They are not different from their feet, from their arms, from their eyes, from her face. This name is a person, it's not just the name, which I like to sing. This name is a person and someone who is fixed and immersed in Radharani. He always feels closeness. And he cannot reject this most preferable, beautiful sadhana to chant always Radha's name. And Baba is saying, Sankirtana purifies the mind. This is the first condition and benefit. Condition is we must purify the mind and benefit of chanting the holy name is purification of the mind. Second is purifying the heart. And when mind and heart are enough, not completely, enough purified, then sadaka is ready to go deeper and deeper in smarana. The more mind is purified, the more heart is purified, sadaka is going deeply in upasana, deep, close meditation. Not only to stay on smarana, but dhyan, deep meditation. Because what's going on? All his senses are tasting the holy name. When he's chanting the holy name, he, his ears are relishing the holy name. His eyes relishing the holy name. His tongue is relishing. His hands are touching the holy name, holy Rade. All senses are engaged in chanting the holy name. Because on this transcendental platform, there is no differences. If the Sadaka is relishing the name of Radha through his eyes, through his ears, through his nose, through his tongue, or through his touch. On material platform, we make different things. But the, by mercy of the Holy Name, all senses can be drowned deeply in the name or in Radhika. Wow. Because heart is purified, mind is purified, and deep meditation brings sadaka directly, even in this body, like my Gora Sundara always say, yes, but this body is important. 
with this body even, but not, not through this body. When we are chanting, we should chant from Swarup. Not only using our body to chant with Swarup. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu showed that. When he was chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, he was chanting in which mood? In Manchuria. So it means that every chanting of the holy name must be chanted from proper bhav, from proper mood. And Krishna devotee is chanting in one mood, but Radhika's devotee is chanting in Manjari Bhav mood. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he very clearly showed when he was chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra, he was chanting practically glorifying Yuga Lakishore, Radhe and Krishna. And who is glorifying Radha and Krishna? Manjari. She is the best one who knows the secrets of loving affairs of Radha and Krishna. And this holy name of Radha is something which Krishna also worship. <laughs> it's so sublime that Krishna is completely enchanted with the holy name of Radha. And he faint. We all know Many verses are glorifying his, uh, his situation when he loses consciousness because he chants just Ra and he cannot continue with Da. He faint. So he is teaching also us neophytes, aspirants, beginners, sadakas. The taking the shelter of Radha starts with taking the shelter with her name. The more shelter of the name, the more shelter of Radha Rupa. Because in the name is Nama, Rupa, Guna, and Lila. We cannot separate the name from the lila, from the gunas, qualities of our beloved Radhika. So this is all complete, including, everything is including in beautiful personality of Srimati Radharani. And we should be aware also, I think that Prabhupada Saraswati is also trying to say how Singing and chanting the Radha's name is rare. It's not that all devotees are chanting Radha's name. Even in Vrindavan, Anantadas Babaji is somewhere in the Radha Rasa Sudanidi is saying, even in Vrindavan, many, many Covered boys, sakas, they are not aware of glories of Radharani's name. Madhu Mangal, Subal, intimate Krishna's friends are somehow aware about sweetness. But Krishna and Manjaris are completely relishing the sweetness of the name. Because they are relishing the love, em embodiment of love. And Prabhupada Saraswati here in Sadaka Vesha shows how much is important to always chant, always check Radhika's name, because in that way we will be Upa very close to Shiva. And this is the best way to be closed with. Beloved Ishtadev. Wow. This is 
Rade, Rade. Sorry. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Wonderful explanation. From the heart. This is all the words of Acharyas. I don't, I don't have my words. I don't have my feelings. I'm just repeating like a parrot. You are cooking together with Radharani. It's no, it, it, nothing you put in the pot is yours. It's not from you, but you put it together nicely and it tastes very nicely. Thank you for that, for that nice dish. <laughs> So can I share one 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 dira? Oh, nice. So nice. Goranga Sundara Babu is share is so nice. So after hearing your your sweet nectarian kata, so maybe maybe many people know every morning about seven AM Radika and uh, Saki Manjari, they are going to Nanda, Nanda Gaon, Nanda Maharaj place for cooking for Mohan Krishna. So Krishna is, Krishna from Nikunja, so he going back and, uh, you know, enter bed, and then mother come, hey, Mohan, you have to wake up. And then bathing. Then after bathing, Mohan, Krishna, go to meditation too. And then he's chanting Radha's mantra. Radhe, Radhe, Radhe. So he's meditating. And also he has so much so much hankering, when Radhika will appear. So he was meditating and chanting. Then Radharani appear with Manjari, Saki and Manjari. And then so, Goranga Sundara Prabhu say, so Nama and this personality is the same. And also from Nama, Rupa come, Radharani appear. Then Radharani start cooking. So she's taking off this kind of little bit of shawl. He's taking out this, you know, next and like a necklace, kind of, you know, like a bangle, you know, many things. And uh, she little bit wear some for cooking. And then she start cooking. So Manjari could see, oh, Krishna is watching for Radhika. So Krishna is very interesting. Krishna wants to see Radha's Rupa and also Radha's Guna and Radha's Dira. So Manjari was watching, oh, Moha is watching. But he, she, she did not say, and the one time, Radhika noticed, oh, maybe Moha is watching me. Why don't you tell me? And Radhika is like, I sign to see Manjari. No, I'm just grind something. I did not know. So, and this kind of pastime is going on. Even Moha is chanting. Mohan is chanting and then Rupa coming and Guna, Radha's quality, Radha's like a very sweet hand, by sweet hand cooking nectar for dishes, Amrita Pani. So, and then later on Krishna could taste this nectar. So this is, I remember this past time after hearing Goranga Sundara's very sweet kata. Rade Rade. Rade Rade Jayananda Ji, you are the proof that by the mercy of the holy name, 
Lila immediately appear in the heart of devotee. And this is the reason why Prabhupada Saraswati is play, praying in the Sadakavesh to holy name of Radha that she and all her lila appear in front of him. So you are the proof. Actually, no, actually, actually, this is association of Rashika Vaishnava like you. I'm not no. saying. Holy name of Radhika is giving all of us mercy. And even Krishna wants that mercy. And you know something, now you remember me on one lila. And if you allowed me to share, sure, I will, I will be very, very privileged to do it. Sure. <clears throat> Everybody once, loved. once Krishna was preparing the kunja for Radharani. We know usually Radhika is preparing kunja for Krishna, but in some special situations, Krishna is also preparing kunja, waiting for Radharani. Knowing that, Manjaris took Radhika for the hand and said, okay, I will brought you in the kunja where Krishna is waiting. But you will not enter immediately in the kunja. I will hide you. And you will see how he is eager, how he is crying for you, for your association. And I will bring you in this situation that you witness it. So Krishna, there was also Sakis around. And Krishna was waiting, 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 and suddenly he asked, where is my Radha? What to do? And Saki said, the best way to attract Radha to appear before you is to chant her holy name. And Krishna said, no problem. I can do. Anyway, I'm always chanting her name. And he started to chant and chant and chant. And after some time, he said, what's going on? She doesn't appear. Why she is not appearing? And Saki said, yes, you are chanting, but you are not attentive during your chanting. Then Krishna said, okay. And he started to chant. How I can be attentive? He asked him. You should chant with love. This is the only way how you can be attentive. And Krishna starts to chant. But Radhika doesn't appear. Why she doesn't appear? Then Sakis are saying, most probably because you are doing offenses. Then Krishna was very worried and said, what to do? How to be revealed from these offenses? And they said, we will sing Radhika's holy name and you clap with your palms, with your hands. And Krishna said, okay, I will do it. I will listen to you, how you are singing, in Sankirtana, calling my Radhe, and I will clap my hands. So, by, by 
clapping the hands, listening the sakis, Krishna starts to sing loudly. Radha's name. And to make a shorter, then Radhika appear. And in this small lila, all these small details, what is important in chanting, chanting, attentiveness, feelings, without offenses, in association of devotees like Radha Charan beautifully said, with the, in the same mood, this is important. Even Krishna attained easily because he took the shelter of the name of Radha. Taking the shelter. And he showed how much is so important her name. So, so nice. So nice. Beautiful. Thank you very much for sharing this, Lila. Actually, I was also thinking about this. So, you read my heart also. But anyway, it's better when you actually are telling this because I'm. Not so good in such things. I cannot remember anything anymore, actually. So thank you for that. And thank you all for sharing your feelings. I'm really so yeah, thankful. Just thankful, thankful, thankful again and again. For all of your uh, deep exchange of feelings in your heart. So, if you want to share more, please do. Otherwise, I will just finish what we didn't read now in this verse. So, Srila Ananda Das Babaji is writing more. The statement that millions of wish-yielding trees always grow on the playground of Sri Rata's lotus feet does not indicate Aishwarya Prakash, a manifestation of opulence and prowess like in Vaikuntha. Chaitanya Charit Amrita states, Kalpa Vrikshala Dhyaha Sahachika Vana Pushpa Palavina Keho Namaga Anyadhana. The forest of Brindavan is very natural scenery, a very natural scenery. The people don't ask anything else from the wish-yielding trees and vines, but fruits and flowers. The word Amanda indicates that the people of Braj need not even to ask or pick the fruits and flowers. These generous trees give them spontaneously. So we can understand that every living entity, moving or non-moving, wants to serve that love. We can understand by the amazing description Anandadas Babaji is giving here. They are giving them spontaneously. 
You don't have to ask, you don't have to pick. They feel what you feel and they give immediately. Finally, Sri Pat says, Sri Rata Kinkarinam Lutati Charanayo Adbhuta Siddhi Koti Millions of wonderful perfections roll at the feet of Radha's maidservants. The maidservants do not even cast a sidelong glance at all the mystic perfections that lie at their lotus feet, ready for their command. Anyone who has tasted even a drop of Krishna's sweetness Consider sense gratification, liberation, and mystic perfection to be insignificant. So it is easily understandable that millions of perfections roll at the feet of the maidservants of Sri Radhika, who consider even devotion to Sri Krishna to be insignificant. The word Adbhuta means that these mystic perfections are enchanting all the great sages, but all these cities are simply rolling at the feet of Sri Radhika's maidservants. Sripad means to say, when I attain the maidservanthood of Sri Radhika, then I lose my taste for everything else. Jai Sri Radha, he ends. The commentary on verse number 144 from Srila Anandadas Babaji from Radharasa Sudhanidhi. Thank you, Kauravani. So nice. Thank you all for being here, for sharing for giving me new impressions. I'm very really happy when I can read because then I can suck some feelings out of you, some, some nice nectar, your thoughts and your feelings. Thank you very much for sharing this. So nice. Again, you you also said, spoke about the perfection of the Manjaris. Even all those cities and all things are less than the perfection of the Manjaris. Again, we can see what on which uh, position the Manjari are, even they are the servants of all, they have the highest position. Or because they are the servants, they got the highest position. No? That is, that is. Yes, this is actually what a materialistic person cannot understand, because here it's vice versa. Here we want to be the greatest. And we want to have everything for us. But in the spiritual sky, 
to be the greatest means to be the smallest because the smallest want to serve everyone. They want to serve the love which is exchanged and they're completely selfless. And this selflessness is actually making them so great. So in this way, the smallest are actually the most elevated uh, persons in that field. Because others who want to enjoy, actually they are limiting, limiting themselves, like we are doing here in the material world usually. By wanting something for us, we are limiting us actually. <laughs> So that's why, like Goranga Sundara said to serving the name, the holy name actually of Rata, this is the beginning. And in this way we get the mercy. In Sada Kavish we can serve the holy name. Guravani, uh, this is uh, the beginning, this is the middle, and this is the end. And this is the end. 24-7. Yes. <laughs> is our Guru Dev is he here or not? No. Maybe he'd like to add something? Connection was not working. Ah, connection was not working. Because from today on we are, uh, his room is uh, connected with uh, Wi-Fi. Yes, he's okay. watching everything and listening a little bit. Like ah. Person, but cannot share. Ah, okay, okay. So. <laughs> rather, rather, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We're all together. I want to. I would like to share something from my feeling of the greatness of service between service of the Dasis the servants of Srimati Radhika, or servants of God. Because I feel that maybe in many lifetimes, I have had many bad experiences with the trusting the servants of God. Because the, the servants of God or the representatives of God were very uh, flickering. Always something, problems come. Now somebody is losing the service. Somebody is misusing the service. Power, hungry, or, you know, because in the service of God or in the service of institutions, it's often that we get so crazy that we think we are real representatives of God. But now I really feel that the service of the maidservants of Srimati Radhika, and I don't even say Sri Radhika directly, because personally, my feeling is I want to serve or become trained in the service of Srimati Radhika's dasis. That is what I feel is my my level right now where, where I am aspiring, where I am praying for. But this service is so sweet, it's so friendly. It's nothing about power. It's nothing about control. It's all about friendship and trust. And this is such a helpful feeling for my soul, for my little vulnerable soul who really wants to trust completely. That is such a big difference that it has made in my life. And I remember sometimes I say, oh, Gurudev has given me the order because I feel so proud. I have given I have been given the order. I have been given the service. Gurudev, you have given me the order. 
this and that. And Gurudev looks at me, I don't give orders. Never I give orders to you. We are just exchanging this love. We are just wanting to serve together. And this feeling is so calming. It's so, it feels so mm, good. And it feels so right. Whereas before there were many times where these feelings of trying to serve a representative of God was kind of a struggle, was kind of a, like unreachable goal, far away authorities and structures of hierarchy. Now I feel so comfortable and so uh, at home, but not being, you know, ordered anything, but I am allowed to grow in a loving, natural way. And then I feel my heart is becoming like the trees in Rindavan. It naturally wants to give everything. When you were reading this Gauravani, the trees, they are naturally, spontaneously give what is desired. Then I, 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 in my mind, I was envisioning one tree and the branch, it has the fruit. And then out of the branch, it, the tree becomes like a green hand and is giving down the most sweetest fruits like mango or anything that is needed for the service of the, you know, Yuga Lakishore in their meetings and in their beautiful leelas. So that I want to share that is so touching for me that although I am, you know, completely imperfect, I feel so much has to be learned, so much my mind and my ego are still very active. But 100% I feel that there is this special Dasi, that special servant of Srimati Radhika, who has taken interest to bring me to her. And that is my best thing that ever happened. You know, and that is this, that is this uh, glories of the maidservants. They don't want to catch anybody. <laughs> They just want to love and they want to serve. <laughs> and that is uh, where I feel so much at home. Although I'm not very perfect at this. I just want to learn. I don't want to watch and observe. And even the chance to be able to sit at their lotus feet, you know, in all imperfected ways. In all, all, you know, whatever time it may take until this perfection may come. That is even, you know, even that is not so much important. But I feel at the right place, with the right people, with the right uh, circumstances, and fully, uh, you know, at home and sheltered and loved and that. It's a very wonderful, wonderful uh, feeling and also um, nourishment for my vulnerable, soft and sensitive soul that really, really wants to go home, you know, and have a place in eternity. And I know this Dasi, she has chosen me and she will take me. She is already taking me by the hand. And I feel like a small baby girl, you know, that can trust fully that there is all taken care of. So, just this for the glories of the Darcy's. Thank you, Suniti, for opening us your heart and sharing these deep feelings. 
it's actually very, very nice when we understand that we are specialists of Radharani's love, which is not based on our uh, qualities, actually. It's based on how Radharani wants to use us in her service. And it's the greatest luck in our life when we get this chance and we are shown how actually we can come to that point. So it's also very nice if we understand that we should work together in love and not claim any proprietorship to anything or anyone. Or it's just a family. Who belongs to whom? We all belong to one, to our Radharani. And we want to help each other to come there again. And it doesn't mean that we have to have all qualities. Some people, they have some qualities like Goranga Sundara. I'm always impressed how perfectly he is actually distributing this mercy of Radharani. Yes, I really, it, it's like this. You are like, for me, you are a very good teacher of this Raganuga Bhakti. And others also, it's just because you are here, I'm giving this example. Please forgive me. I don't want to bring you in a bad situation, but I'm always impressed by all of you because you're so much specialists. I just want to be one little speck of dust in your association and also serve in my natural way. And I wish that we actually always have this in our consciousness, that we help each other to find this way and this speciality in us to serve Radha. After all, this is our citadea, very specific. Very specific servant of love, of Radharani. Thank you very much for sharing these feelings and see you soon again. Five minutes left. <laughs> I like to add. Yes, please. Some Seven. Seven. <laughs> Even seven minutes. Okay, I speak very slowly. <laughs> so you inspire me to speak about the talents of everybody. So every single maid servant who is actually present here has a special talent. Maybe some have two or three. But everybody has one talent. And to find out what is this special talent in me that I like to offer to the lotus feet, to my Swamini, and become active in this service, that is a, a, a really big step in our life as a manjari to find out what is my speciality. And I remember the story when Ramachandas pastimes took place on this planet. They were building a bridge. All of you know this story by stones. And this stones was able to swim only by writing his name on the stone. They were swimming on the ocean. And uh, there was Hanumanji who brought um, amazing big rocks to this, to build this bridge. And uh, even this, this powerful monkey army, they brought unbelievable what they are carrying on, on stones and make this bridge. But there was also the story of the small spider 
<laughs> who was proud to bring also one sand corn and by ignoring the spider i think it was ramachandra himself who correct this heavy guys who do this big rocks that for the lord the service is the service and the mood of the service is important the loving mood to do this service it not depends on the amount of rocks we are bringing there it depends on our mood how we bring our service in loving mood to our swamini and this that we find out what is our talent that i want to add to goravani's last words radhe radhe thank you so much thank you all so much see you next week